I like a fairly stiff blade for these fish because they've got really uh, tough scales. Just go right down the backbone there, spine. Take your time, don't miss any meat. And then uh, there's a little hard ridge right here. I don't know if you can see that. It's like a hard piece right there. It looks like a scale, but it's a real hard ridge. And that's the perfect point to put your knife in. You cut straight down. And then when you get to this point, there's a couple little rib bones that you have to release right here, right there. And then you can follow the rib cage down. I'll pull the meat back and I'll just follow the ri these rib bones all the way down. And then uh, I'll flip the fish over before I release it. I don't like to take one side off. I like to leave it on. Because when you take one side off, it no longer lays level. So now it's still laying level. Another little sharpen. Scrape any of that blood off. I'm trying not to scrape too close to the skin. If I lay the knife flat, without much of an angle. I can try to avoid a lot of that red. I call it high, high skinning it. Um, the red's not that bad. If you were to freeze it, it may become a little bit fishy right there. And then right here, there's just a couple of bones that I cut. Those rib bones, there's like three of them right there. So then I cut those out and that's perfectly filleted side. Do the same for this one. If I take more of an angle like this, I'm going to scrape more of that that blood lot blood off the the skin. But if you lay the knife parallel to the skin, you should get a little bit less of that. See, we leave it all on the skin. That one's perfect. Cut those little bones out right there. So we got two perfect fillets right there. And then uh, there's a little cheek in here as well. I usually use a little bendier knife for this. But there's a hard part in here. It's really flat. And you can put your knife in there and just scoop that out. I think I could probably show you with the camera too. What it? You can see it's it's a really flat piece right here. If you get the not right angle and just scoop in there, you get that out. And then when you once you get to here, you just put your thumb in between the skin and uh, the cheek, and it just folds right out. You got a nice little scallop-sized piece of meat. It's really tender too. Do the same thing on this side. And you just push in and bend the knife a little bit while scooping it. And then same thing here. Keeping the knife, you can feel that flat piece, so use that as a guide. 
finger in there and it just peels away from the skin. And it's not a big piece of meat, but you know, why waste it? And that's probably one of the tastiest fish there is. Triple tail.